Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. This week we are going to show you how to migrate your Slack direct messages to Microsoft Teams. We will go through each step, but make sure you have the user guide nearby. With all that said and done, let's start. Once in your project, your first step is to configure your connectors for connecting to Slack and Microsoft 365. Log into api.slack.com and create an application following this article. Slack Connector Configuration – How to Generate Slack Token This link is provided in the user guide. Under Oath and Permissions, Copy the User Oath token. Now click on Connectors and click on Create a Slack Source Connector. Give your connector a name. Select Source as Direction and select Site, Groups, Teams for Migration Product. Click Next. Paste the User Oath token. Click Next and Complete. Now that we have created the source connector, let's set up the target Microsoft connector. Select a Microsoft connector. Give it a name and select Target as Direction and select Site, Groups, Teams as Product. For this tutorial, we're going to use the automatic mode. You can use the expert mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we are not going to use the expert mode in this video. However, more details are available in the user guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. It doesn't have to be admin of the tenant. This is the account that will be used to access resources such as shared mailboxes, rooms and equipments and so on. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. You will be prompted to enter a global admin account. It is only necessary for installing the Azure AD application and will not be used during a migration process. Now that we have set up our connectors, we are ready to migrate. The first step is to run the discovery process to import the user list. From the group user list under Migration, click on Get List and fill the relevant information. Pay attention to the matching rule. That will automatically generate the target email address from the source email address. For performance reasons, only the 1,000 most recent messages are injected into the chat. The older messages are dumped into an HTML file that is then uploaded to the personal OneDrive of the user. This is because Microsoft is throttling the calls and it is nearly impossible to inject large volume of messages into the chats. The default behavior can be overwritten in the global settings. Once the user list is filled, the administration must send an authorization request to every end user. The end user will receive an email asking him to authenticate to Slack and give authorization to access his direct messages. If the user accepts it, Slack generates an authorization token that is sent back to the CloudAway platform. The migrations is automatically scheduled and will start ASAP. Good, the migration is completed. Let's quickly check the result. Here is the source. And here is the look and feel at the target. Due to limitations with the Microsoft APIs, messages appear as created by the migration account and the date of the message is the date of migration. The original metadata values have been inserted into each message. Good! The migration is completed. Thank you for watching.